Dominique Harris. We'll start with questions for Coach, please. Coach, you obviously went into the game last week and uh, looking to run. Did you expect to run as much as you did after the way things unfolded? <clears throat> We did. As the week evolved, it, it, it was apparent that um, that Bernard was was going to be okay. Um, and again, his first hit, his first contact was in pregame, so we wanted to see how he how he react <clears throat> reacted, and he reacted well. And I thought the guys did a good job uh, blocking. Um, so uh, that was the game plan going in. We stayed with it. What kind of contact were you getting pregame? <clears throat> um, just you know, hitting against the defense a little bit. Now, how similar is what Navy does to what Army does? Um, it's a little bit. Uh, it's very similar, uh, and then you know they have their own their own nuances. Um, they're obviously um, a couple of years ahead in their development. They've had continuity there. Uh, their system's a little bit ahead, meaning they've uh, supplied the system with the players that they've wanted, uh, as opposed to. Uh, at Army, you know, they've had three head coaches in the last, you know, three years, so uh, or four years, whatever, it might, whatever the case may be. So, um, obviously, this is a, a program that's uh, among the winningest uh, programs in the country um, over the last five or six years. Top, top 17 or 18 winningest uh, programs in the country, and they're going for uh, eight, eight wins again. I think for for uh, eight wins or more for five years in a row. So it's a it's a good group. Six straight bowl games. Um, and they're 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 very uh, very difficult uh, to deal with on game day. Does playing Army two weeks ago, even though you had the week between, help a little bit at least? I mean, there, there's some recall. I mean, obviously you never want to uh, schedule two of these games um, in a season, but um, I think in this case there, there should be some recall, and hopefully uh, hopefully we'll we'll uh, continue to be healthy and have a chance here. Will there be a lot of recall about last year's Navy game down there and how that turned out? I hope so. I hope so because we, we played really well for, for three quarters. You know, we played really well. Uh, we didn't know how to finish. And they are the epitome of finishing. Um, and uh, we have to protect the ball better, so I hope they recall that. Uh, I hope they understand how we have to convert in the red zone. Um, so uh, th there, there should be some recall. I hope we learned a lot from last year. Uh, it was a big part of our offseason, to be quite honest, uh, the, the losing games. Um, in, in the manner that we did and growing and developing and maturing and not sweeping it under the rug and not making excuses, but, you know, looking it straight in the eye and say, this is what we need to do better to finish those games uh, and then enjoy the moment. You know, we didn't enjoy the moment last year. You know, it started to unravel and we didn't quite have the experience or the leadership uh, to hold it together. So I hope they do remember that uh, because it's so easy for people to say, oh, you know, just forget it. Don't, you know, no, I, I want them to understand what went wrong and, and what needs to change for us to come out on top this year. Well, you said there was emphasis put on that during the offseason <clears> about what happened that day. What, what form did that come? Well, I mean, uh, there's a million ways to there's a million ways to look at it. Number one is protecting the ball, uh, whether it was Adams fumble in the red zone early in the game, uh, keeping your focus as we missed an extra point that came back to be pivotal in the game, uh, running a four-minute offense, knowing how to hold on to the ball and, and with, with two hands and going down. And again, uh, uh, that ultimately rests with me because it was a freshman tailback in that situation. Uh, whether it's uh, converting on the third downs that preceded that, that series. Uh, I mean, I, you know, I can keep going on. We, it, it was third and one uh, before the pass that we dropped in overtime. It was third and one on the one, and we didn't, we didn't get it in. Uh, so short yardage offense. I mean, we can go on and on, but there was a litany of situations there uh, that usually are the, uh, re that usually result in what looks like a catastrophic loss, and it was. But it's never just one play. It's never just Kier's fumble or Steve's drop or the coach's mistake or whatever it is. It's, it's generally across the board, and you have to analyze it that way uh, without guilt because uh, that that's the way you have to approach it. Does the fact that maybe they have to go with their backup quarterback influence how you prepare for this game? You mean the backup guy that, that, that scored 20 on us in the fourth quarter last year? Proctor? Well, it was the backup last year. That came in and, 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 and did us in. So, whoever it is, he's good. You know, they have a great system. Uh, they don't have any negative plays. All their plays go this way. There's no penalties, no sacks, uh, hardly any passes, and, and uh, no TFLs against their offense. And they protect the football. So, that's, that's it. And uh, the Proctor kid is, uh, from what I'm told, is, is faster. Um, so, 
I mean, uh, either way, it's going to be a fast quarterback. No, but that is that is it. That is it. That the other team is a proud team. In this case, Navy, uh, who had that that point been to five uh, bowl games, who had beaten Rutgers and and I believe Wake uh, prior to our game, and uh, you know, I mean, in Air Force, so they're going to fight back. You knew it was coming, and we weren't ready for it. Now, when we have adversity, we, we've learned from those games. When we have adversity, okay. Now we got to go out and make a play, and I think that's what we did it in the second half on Saturday uh, against a good offense, against a good team on the road, uh, a team that dismantled Colorado uh, at, in that same venue. So uh, I think that was good for our guys to learn from that. And, and again, uh, I'm speaking to you guys, but uh, we're not talking about last year. You know, we did that all offseason so that we won't have to talk about it. Coach, you started Chester to start the second half. Mm -hmm. What was – you just wanted to have Vaughn – Situation where you just wanted one to like watch, or uh, you know, we were just trying to get a different, uh, different look and, and and get a little spark. You know, uh, we had we had gone cold again there, and uh, you know we didn't really particularly finish the half very well, and uh, we wanted to give Chester. I, I have no problem giving Chester reps. He's doing a good job in in practice. He's earned the right to go into into the game, and uh, and I think it helps Vaughn to to sit for a series as well. You know, uh, we have to protect the ball a little bit better. Obviously, when Chester's in there and, and, and uh, execute better with our ball handling, but we'll continue to, to probably get him in there a couple of series again. Now, was Matt Brown Wednesday's flying last week? Yep. Um, in, in fact, uh, uh, Kevin, uh, and again, I don't really talk about injuries, but Kevin uh, hurt uh, a hamstring on Thursday. So uh, we, we moved Matt Brown over there in the kickoff return. Uh, and again, it's, it's easy to plug guys in uh, when the kids believe in the system and believe in each other. And that's that's really what our kickoff return has evolved in. Now, we need that in other aspects of our special teams, but um, we continue to keep changing up the returners, and the returners have success because there's a lot of guys on the field that really give great effort on kickoff return and, and block really well. But Matt Brown was certainly that, and, and he did a good job. Uh, it, almost, it looked like James almost yielded to him. On the left, you know, he had what three after the first yeah. one. Yeah, well, if you give Matt Brown the choice of you, you, me, me, he's going to say me, me. So. Uh, that's what he did. I mean, he's the he's the he's he's the return captain. So and it's his it's his call, and uh, so he said, "Me, me, and we wanted the ball, which is great." Where does he rate on the tee speed wise? Uh, he's pretty fast. I don't know. I mean, he's got to be top five, I'm sure, but he's quick. He's probably the quickest. I don't know if there's anybody quicker, uh, and I think it's the combination that that helps him. Did the decisive win blunt the kick return that kind of gave them life in the first half? No. You mean blunted? You mean no, no. I mean uh, again, our kickoff coverage was exceptional. Uh, I don't know how many we had in the game, seven maybe. I can't do the math, but um, it was exceptional. Every single one was exceptional. And in one, we had uh, really a, we had two guys who gave bad effort, and we had two guys that went the wrong way around the block, and they happened to do it simultaneously. And anytime you have two guys adjacent to each other that make that kind of mistake, anybody's going to score. Doesn't matter who you play, and we've been able to eliminate it. We haven't had that since I've been here, I don't believe. Uh, so that was disappointing, and certainly uh, I have to get that corrected. And you know, we have to. We're going to mess around with the personnel a little bit on that because we should be better than that. Uh, and uh, and again, you got to give Toledo credit. Uh, they did a great job blocking it, and the kid the kid made a nice return. So uh, we got to do better. Yeah.